During the 4th century, many were forced to abandon Christian faith for fear of persecutions. Return of this faithful to the church was one of the biggest hurdles St. Marcellus faced. Welcome to the Pontiff, a journey into the historic lives and contributions of the 266 popes of the Catholic Church, brought to you by Seniors Live. In AD 304, after the martyrdom of St. Marcellinus I, the See of Peter remained vacant for around three years. Not only did the church incur huge losses, religious persecution, the reign of Emperor Diocletian even created internal rifts and divisions within the church. Electing a successor to St. Marcellinus was hence delayed for about three and a half years. Eventually, in AD 308, Pope Marcellus was chosen as the 30th successor of St. Peter. One of the biggest pastoral problems Pope Marcellus encountered was the status of the lapsed Christians during the persecution of Emperor Diocletian. Pope Marcellus took measures to bring them back to the church. However, he suggested that these parishioners must go through rigorous and intense remedial process. They were also instructed to confess their past actions publicly. The proposal created an internal rife in the church. The conflicts thus created were so immense that it even led to the bloodsheds in the church. The worsening atmosphere and public sentiments against Pope Marcellus urged the rivaling groups to seek the assistance of the then emperor. Macentius, the emperor, stepped in claiming to be a mediator. However, the emperor instead had the pope exiled from home. While in forced exile and owing to the ill treatment, Pope Marcellus passed away on 16 January AD 309. His mortal remains were brought to Rome later on and buried in the cemetery of Priscilla. Please subscribe our channel and like our videos. In the next episode, we will look into the life and contribution of the 31st Pope. Till then, this is Sony Manod signing off for Seniors Live.